vlog because I want to say something about my way of reviewing and about Brusho in particular this time as an example. Um, the way I review art supplies is this. Um, I do it purely based on experience. What is the art supply doing in my experience? So in doing the review I refer to the techniques that I know, the styles that I work in and in this case for the brush show I used it um, with the sprinkling technique which laid bare the multiple pigments that are in them. And what happens then is that I um, have a really, whoops, <laughs> that I have a really critical note about a product like this. And my critical note is not that this is a bad product. It's just like the Gansai Tambi. There are so many people, you know, um, wanting to defend Gansai Tambi because they love the paint and they should. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I am not saying it is bad paint. I'm saying it is not watercolor as we know it. And um, I have used it quite a bit in my uh, journal. I will show you some pages. Hold on. I forgot to take those out, but I'll look them up for you. Mm. Because I want to show you that I'm being serious about this and I'm not trying to... Right. This is a journal spread that I did a while ago and this is both painted in Gantite Tembi. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it slightly reflects light in a couple of areas, um, like here, which is um, the effect this paint has. Um, and I liked this paint. In fact, I liked it so much that I bought one color extra, not the dark blue, but the cornflower um, blue, because I think that's a color I hardly see anywhere else um, in that uh, opacity. So whenever I do a review and whenever I'm being critical about a certain product, um, in general, I'm not saying it is a bad thing you shouldn't buy. I'm trying to say, look, I'm a watercolor artist. So the Gansai Tembi, I test it as if I am a watercolor artist. So if you are used to painting watercolor, then this is the experience you will probably have when using the Gansai Tembi. I tested the brush show the same way. I used the Ami uh, flash pigments for some effects in my um, in my work. And um, when I heard about the brush show and saw how many colors there are available, because Ami only comes in seven or eight colors. So when I saw how many colors brush show offers, I thought, God, I need to have that because I want I would like to have this effect in a lot more colors. And then. I became quite critical when I noticed that um, the pigments are generally not single pigments. So brush of um, Color Craft, the, um, um, the manufacturer of Brusho, they responded to my video saying that it really is pigments, not dyes. Um, but then it really is multiple pigments. But the way they designed the paint was to mix it with water and then make um, a uniform color paint with it. Um, well, as you see, I use it differently. So my critical review of this product is not to say don't buy it. It is to say if you like this stuff, this is what you should know before you start. Because some of you responded saying, I love it. I love the beautiful effects that it has with the sprinkles and a different color. Yes, I get that. I totally get that because it is fantastic. But I also understand that there are people around there who say I only want single pigments because I want to avoid mud from happening. And there are people who would like to have only one color. And to be very honest, and that remains a critical point about this product, I wouldn't have bought 24 pots of this um, pigment had I known that they were all a mix because I have a creative mind. I would have, I would have thought about that myself, of mixing them, trying it out. Um, but that, of course, brings me to the point and brings the manufacturer to the point that they produce stuff like this 
for people of all levels of creativity. So yes, of course, those who are doing art 24 seven will think of it, but there will be people who don't think of it or, you know, people who, who like to do crafts with them or people who are just, you know, making cards every now and then painting a little bit with it. They might just want to pick up a pot and go. So I understand. It's just something that I want to um, share with my viewers because in buying a product, this is something that I would like to know. Right, Brusher, um, Colorcraft did not ask me to say anything positive. I am doing this because I want to show you that um, indeed it consists of multiple pigments. So um, be careful with that because um, I often sprinkle um, crystals like these in um, my wet watercolor painting and if you use single pigment colors like the brilliant red here then chances to get mud are not as high but if you use for instance the leaf green or the brown or the the black that have a lot of pigments in them then chances are if you have a certain color on your paper already it might turn into mud so it's something you have to try out before you do it in your artwork because you would generally do this at a late at a later stage of your painting probably what i also wanted to show you is that i added so much water on my color chart that some colors actually missed mixed into um quite you know a uniform color um for instance the emerald green here you can see that um it is pretty um green there and the leaf green um so then you can also see, because I said the black is getting nowhere near black. Well, it really is black when you mix them all together or when they do it on paper. Um, you know, so I wanted to show you that once dry and once the colors have mixed, mixed fully, that they really do turn into the colors that um, the little pots say. Um, however, you do have to mind, again, for those who, you know, if you're crafting, making cards with it, it's probably fantastic to have many pigments. But if you do it in art, you really need to know um, and try out before you um, sprinkle it onto your artwork. Try it on a scrap piece of paper to prevent um, um, disappointments from happening. Um, I bought new lamps, lights for my studio and having said that, I'm going to, um, I'm playing with my lights a bit to, um, I still have to access and I train, <laughs> uh, try them out. Um, I want to show you um, something I did with the brush O. Um, this is, say, a second part of my review. Um, what I did is I made um, rather psychedelic and wild um, watercolour um, clouds. And of those clouds, I made artist trading cards. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can have a good view of them all. And I found something that's really great about this brush out, and that is that um, it layers beautifully uh, because when I was painting on top of it, um, the paint, the paint, the this color cloud hardly lifted from the paper when i went over it with a wet brush which is for this technique a really great quality so um i have to say that um i do like the product despite my critique on the multiple pigments well i really wanted to share this with you and um i'll be back with you for with some more reviews very soon Thank you for watching. Bye.